What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and today we got MLB 2021 predictions. But first, yes, I've been gone for a while. It's been like two months, I think. I think more than two months. Basically the main reason for me being inactive is because my computer broke. I have been unable to edit and I bought a new computer and it still hasn't come in. So I have to do a weird process downloading this video to edit. Um, but I have to get a video out before opening day, which is MLB predictions. But in a couple weeks, I'm going to be starting to post actively again. I have a lot of spring training vlogs. I'm going to have Angel Stadium vlogs again. And I'm just going to start being active again. And the regularly scheduled Angels vlogs will be back. So I'm excited for that. And with that being said, let's get into the predictions. We're going to start with the AL West because that's our division. A's first place, I think it's not gonna be a competition. I think the A's may be the only team over 500. The next one is a big toss up for me and frankly, I have to go with the Angels because I'm an Angels fan. It wouldn't be fun for me to predict them to go under the Astros. I think it is gonna be close between them, but I'll just say Angels. Then we got Astros. I think they're probably not gonna be over 500. I think they've just lost a ton of their star players. And their lineup, of course, isn't as good as they were before because they can't cheat. Then we got Rangers, and then we got Mariners. The Mariners have Keenan Middleton, so they'll probably end up in the bottom of the division. AL Central, we got White Sox in first place. These guys are just loading on talent. They got, I believe, Liam, Liam Hendricks. Um, it's been a couple months, so I can't really remember much. Then we got the Twins. I still think they're solid. Then we got Indians. Then we got Royals and Tigers. Royals and Tigers was actually the toughest one for me. It is just a tight, tight competition to see who can get the most losses. Who can be the worst team? I don't know, that's gonna be fun to watch. That is a storyline I'm excited for this year. AL East, we got Yankees. Um, not much needed to be said. They do keep getting injuries, but even with the injuries, I think they should be fine to take the division. Then we got Blue Jays. Yes, I have the Blue Jays over the Rays. I get this wrong like every year, but I don't care. I think this year the Blue Jays just have stacked on stars and I think the Rays are gonna have a huge uh, hangover from winning the AL. I have the Rays next and then I have the Red Sox. I actually think the Red Sox will be solid. I think the whole division is actually gonna be a tough competition, except for the Orioles. I have them getting last. NL West, oh my God, the Padres have upgraded insanely. Blake Snell, you Darvish. One other guy. I got the Dodgers still first though. Nothing really needed to be said. They're straight up an all-star team. Then Padres. Then the last three, pretty much like a toss-up to me. But I have the D-backs, Rockies, then Giants. And on Central, I got the Cardinals getting first. They just got Nolan Arenado. They have Paul Goldschmidt. Their lineup is destined to have a good year. Second, I got Cubs. They show every year that they're still a good team. Then Brewers, then Reds, then Pirates. NL East, we got the Braves. I think the Braves are always the most underrated team. They should have made the World Series last year, and I think they'll be back at it this year. I think they're definitely the third or even second best team in the NL. Then we got the Phillies, then we got Nationals, then we got the Mets. The Mets, I think the most overrated team in the MLB. Just because they got Lindor automatically makes them from an under 500 team to a playoff contender. I don't believe the hype. And then we got Marlins. So I'm gonna have to wing the division series and the championship series because I literally forgot to write it down. I'll take the Padres beating the Cubs in the wild card. I'll do the Blue Jays beating the Angels in the AL wild card because Ryu is a great ace. I'll do the Padres beating the Dodgers, Braves beating the Cardinals, Braves beating the Padres, Yankees beating the Blue Jays, White Sox beating the A's, Yankees beating the White Sox, Yankees Braves World Series, Braves winning it all. But that's just my prediction. Let me know if you guys think it's good. Let me know if you guys think it's awful. Be honest with me. I know a lot of people aren't gonna agree with a lot of things I said. That's just the way it is. It's not a perfect world. Nobody agrees with each other anyway. And yeah, make sure you leave a like. Best way to show your support. And that's it. Peace out. Also, I forgot to say this when I was filming the video. Trout AL MVP, Juan Soto NL MVP, Bieber AL Cy Young, and Jacob deGrom NL Cy Young.